the orbit also contains the extracular muscles that is the six muscles extracular the superior rectus inferior rectus medial rectus lateral rectus superior oblique and inferior oblique so these are the six extracular muscles which are lying inside the orbital cavity then there is the optic nerve which is the main nerve of the eyeball itself the oculomotor nerve which is the main nerve of the muscles extracular muscles of the eyeball trochlear supplies to the superior oblique muscle of the eyeball abducens supplies to the lateral rectus nerve lateral rectus muscle of the eyeball the branches of the ophthalmic and the maxillary division of the cranial nerve 5 that is the trigeminal they are for the sensory supply for the upper part of the face and the middle part of the face that is the ophthalmic part or frontal part and the maxillary division for the maxillary part so these nerves cross supplying the orbital cavity these nerves cross out of the orbital cavity as the supra <coughs> orbital nerves infra orbital nerves supra trochlear nerves infra trochlear nerves and the medial <coughs> canthus and there is the ciliary nerves that is the parasympathetic ganglia that supplies the parasympathetic nerves to the lacrimal for the lacrimation to the lacrimal gland so these sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves they supply to the lacrimal gland and also to the intrinsic muscles of the eyeballs that is the ciliary muscles so the ophthalmic vessels that is going to supply the orbital tissues inside and the central artery or the retina along with the optic nerve to supply the retina so ophthalmic vessels nasolacrimal apparatus now this is the nasolacrimal apparatus which is the lacrimal gland along with its ducts so this is the nasolacrimal apparatus so all these structures they are lying inside the orbital cavity so we are going to repeat again the extraocular muscles six in number four recti and two oblique that is the superior and the inferior recti are the lateral medial superior and inferior optic nerve for the central retina and the oculomotor nerve for the of the eye except the lateral rectus and the superior oblique the lateral rectus is supplied by the abducens nerve and the superior oblique is supplied by the trochlear nerve so these all six muscles they are supplied by these three nerves so the branches of the ophthalmic and the maxillary divisions these are the, the trigeminal nerve and they after supplying the tissues the uh, innervations and they come out from the orbital cavity as the supra trochlear and the supra uh, orbital and the infra orbital nerves and then the zygomatic facial and the zygomatic temporal so these are the sensory nerves which are coming out of the orbital cavity and these are the branches of the ophthalmic and the maxillary division the ciliary ganglion lies cavity you can see from here this is the ciliary ganglion and the short ciliary nerves they are passing from the ganglia to supply the eyeball and these short ciliary nerves these are responsible for the intrinsic muscles of the eye those are the ciliary muscles so the ophthalmic vessels they are also in, in there and these ophthalmic vessels they will also give rise to the supratrochlear and the supraorbital arteries and the infraorbital arteries which accompanies these nerves of the fifth cranial nerve branch of the fifth cranial nerve so the nasolacrimal apparatus is also supplied by these nerves 